tomorrow it just looks like a, the weather's not going to cooperate uh, with it. So I know next weekend will be hopefully, fingers crossed, a good we'll, one. We'll always take the rain. We and we need the yeah. rain desperately. We are well behind for this winter so far. Mm -hmm. So any little bit we can get are going to help us out in our drought situation. Uh, look at our planning forecast. These showers could start uh, by the time the sun comes up tomorrow. Mainly light rain at that hour. Temperatures mild, pretty muggy. Through noon, we'll climb to around 73, uh, but that's when the threat for a few thunderstorms starts to work its way in as a cold front inches closer to Austin. Now, a look at our current situation. The clouds are really filling in over central Texas. A lot of moisture ahead of the system that's right now moving on to the coast of California. That upper level low bringing a lot of rain to Southern California. It's going to move east across the panhandle through tomorrow and push a cold front into our region. So all of that combined are going to give us those rain chances. With the front moving through, we also have the potential for one or two storms to become strong to severe around midday tomorrow through the early afternoon hours. Now this mainly is going to affect our eastern area, so north and east of the Austin region. The Storm Prediction Center has put us in a slight risk for severe storms. Mainly the threats are going to be for a larger hail and gusty wind, something we'll be watching very closely throughout the day tomorrow. And we're going to see also with this, uh, the rain really pick up. We could see maybe up to a half inch of rain, some of the heavier downpours. So hour by hour through your forecast, overnight tonight, a few spotty showers, especially early morning time frame tomorrow. But by 7 a.m., the front starts to work its way into the hill country with a line of showers and storms associated with it. Through noon, that's when the front inches closer to the Austin region. And then through the afternoon, that front's going to sink to our south and east, taking with it the threat of rain by the late evening hours. Behind that front is when we're going to see really gusty northerly winds, anywhere between about 15, 25 miles an hour. And with that, those temperatures will fall very quickly. In fact, our highs will happen just before that front moves in right here in the Austin area. That's most likely going to be right around noon. And then the colder air seeps in. By Monday morning, we will have temperatures in the upper 20s. So let's look at that temperature drop. Overnight tonight, we'll stay in the upper 60s. By midday tomorrow, a low 70s is where we'll top out. But look how fast we drop off once that front comes in. By 6 p.m. tomorrow, we'll likely be in the upper 40s. And like I mentioned before, the upper 20s expected by early Monday. Right now, still mild and muggy, 75 degrees overcast with winds right around 10 miles an hour out of the south. So current temperatures across the region, low to mid 70s almost everywhere. Tonight will only fall into the mid 60s, make it only into the low 70s across our southern counties. Northern counties likely won't see temperatures warm up at all. That front will move in just too quickly. Tonight, let's go 67 here in Austin, 73 of course, midday tomorrow, and then falling temperatures after that. Look at the difference between Sunday and Monday. Monday, we won't even make it out of the 40s. Another cold start on Tuesday with temperatures again mid-40s through the afternoon.